The road to RNG Hell is paved with just one more playthrough. Today on... Thank you. Don't talk over the intro. Don't talk over the intro. Don't talk over the intro. Professional. You could take this part out, right? No. <laughs> Nothing's being post. edited. I'm not, I'm not doing more work for a begged episode. All right. Ahead, Welcome, start. everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Press B to Cancel. Uh, today we are talking about games. Uh, and I'm joined by Sick Jake, my good friend. How are you today? I'm doing great for a Tuesday. All right. Wait, am I not supposed to say Tuesday? Well, I'm doing great for a Friday, yeah. Sinistar. Yes. Oh, uh, this isn't pre recorded. No, Cutting not room at floor. all. <laughs> GP, how are you today? I am still full from Thanksgiving. <laughs> Let me tell you <laughs> mm. uh, the leftovers this morning, uh, just peak level Friday after Thanksgiving. Amazing. Two Fridays. This last is two Fridays, Fridays after they. I remember Thanksgiving yeah. last week, and yeah. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> this is totally not being big. And Chard Monk, how are you today? <laughs> I don't know what day it is anymore, so I'm I'm mildly confused, <laughs> a little lost. Very well, and we are joined by a very special guest who I think is the saint in the room, since we deal with Chard in very small doses, and she has to deal with Chard in all the dose. How are you today, Rogue? I mean, I'm with you guys. I'm with, I'm with you nerds, so it's a good day. It's a good day. They call me the double dose. He doesn't get the <laughs> mic, though. The double dose. Yes, uh, today the mic will be controlled by Rogue. Uh, okay, so today we are talking as, very... As is everything else in life. That's right. True story. True story. <laughs> so today we are talking roguelikes, and we the reason we have our special guest is we are going to play a game where we describe, in some effective level, a roguelike or roguelite, and Rogue makes the decision, based on our description and some answer follow-up questions, whether she would play it or whether she would press B to cancel. That's the name of this the podcast, sweetie. I didn't know thing. that. Mm -hmm. I didn't said, know that. He said the oh. thing we do. Yeah. 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 I didn't know that. I love that. She doesn't. Uh, so to give a little background, a rogue like <laughs> is uh, so I looked it up, and there's actually a little bit of some controversy, a little bit of disagreement, but it seems like the con the consensus kind of comes down to a rogue like is a game that involves some sort of random generated uh, or, or procedurally generated dungeon, involves permadeath, and you basically then go replay again. <clears throat> uh, and then a rogue light is essentially the same thing, but it adds an element where some level of gain continues through each playthrough. So you earn uh, you know benefits from playing over and over and over again. Be honest, so, I never get that right. Like I've never gotten that yeah, right. Either. Yeah, I, I I think I think it makes sense if you're talking about rogue light or rogue like being the basis of the the replay. You lose everything, you start over, and you go from right. from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. But rogue lights, it would make sense to be like there is something you keep. May it be yeah. an upgrade or experience or something. It it, right. it makes sense that it. It's a light. It's not quite roguish, but it's yeah. kind of it. Not not quite as severe. Yes. And the whole the whole genre actually pivots off of a game from the I think 1980 was when it was released called Rogue, uh, which um, I think somebody on the team is going to discuss that uh, as uh, and give a description uh, for Rogue to make the decision on. So unless we have anything else to kind of discuss, maybe we can start. So what we're looking at is we're going to describe these games to Rogue, and she's going to give her honest opinion. Is that something I would play, or is that just absolute utter nonsense and crap from the just back of the box yeah. description? Yep. Yeah. One hundred percent. I'm right. so ready. I was born for this role. I just want to let you guys know, <laughs> I was born for this. Judging is my favorite thing. I'm ready. She yeah. is. She's she's the judge and juror of this. One hundred percent. We. Here. We do need to to like record a little audio snippet of her saying like yes or no exuberantly so that we can interject it 
whenever we agree or disagree with somebody's opinion nope. in future episodes. Uh, there will be no disagreeing with my my judge. My judge is final. <laughs> also, okay? if, if, guys... if I may, final. please don't. Uh, I would like to discourage any collusion from the, the couple here. <laughs> If I do a great job at something, please don't feel like because Chart is sitting there saying, "Tell GP he sucks." Uh, can we <laughs> can we actually get a Illusion. partition? Can we get I a know, partition right? between the two of them? Yeah. yeah like Chart living room now. <laughs> yeah, we're nowhere near each other. It's it totally fine. It's all green screen. <laughs> it is. Yeah, she's actually in the living room right now. I'm not really. Here. Is, yeah, this this is actually we a have, CG. We have a series of cables that's making the mic move back and forth. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> wow. I'm a hologram. She's, she's she's actually a hologram. She is actually a hologram. I'm not married and very lonely. I think I just got real. six different stories of how this is working out. All of them are wonderful. Great. All of them. <laughs> that's it. That's an even number. Multiple mm. choice. Mm. I'm ready. Ready, guys. All right. And and uh, please, by all means, be brutal. We, uh, you know, uh, we, we look for sponsorship from, we look for sponsorship from, uh, from each of these, uh, uh, roguelikes or roguelites. So be brutal. It'll, it'll certainly help us get sponsorship. GP. GP. If I may real quick, before we get into the games, uh, just to, to have a gauge for Mm -hmm. honesty, dishonesty levels. And they do this whenever you're doing like, um, uh, not a truth meter What's it called? Uh, lie detector, <laughs> lie detector <laughs> test. Thank yes. you. Uh, okay, Rogue. Yes. Can I pull off these glasses? Yes. Is my hair too tall? Yes. No. Okay, she's good. Tell the truth. Is is my <laughs> hair too tall? It's extremely too tall. It's mm. too tall. Those the highlights. Mm. They're the bad. They're bad. Okay. The highlights up, are really. Up here. She's not being honest. She she embellishes. <laughs> okay, got That's it. What I've learned. Got it. I told uh, you so never go nude. There's the uh, there's the poker tell. The embellishment yeah. is the poker tell. Yeah, we are. Got it. See? All right. Please well, don't to hit ca- anything with my gavel. I appreciate that. I think to start us off, I think in the name of the genre, I think we'll start with GP tonight. Oh, okay. So what I will do is poorly describe this game uh first, Rogue, and then you can tell me yes or no whether you think you would play it. Then I'll give another round of a little bit more information, and uh, then you can you can give us your final judgment. I think is how. Okay. Uh, so, and again with roguelikes, roguelites, I'm a little iffy on on what's what. So forgive me if I get this wrong. I guess before I describe this, let me ask you: Have you ever played the original Oregon Trail? Yes. Okay. This game does not have graphics quite that good, uh, but it's it does have the black background. Yes, 1980. <laughs> Um, you're a character or, you know, an at symbol, and you are essentially trying to get to the lowest level of a dungeon, uh, that is randomized. If you die, you're dead. Seas. basically all the things we already discussed a roguelike would be, um, you are collecting items such as magical wands that might be cursed. We don't know yet. Potions that you won't know if they're what they do until later on. And you're fighting snakes, for example, are the letter S. Uh, There are also bats, zombies, other things. The map generated randomly. And uh, yeah, it's not technically a roguelike or a roguelite. Have I intrigued you? Yes, you said dungeon. You had me at dungeon. And then there were some bats. Um, 100% I would play it. 100%. Okay. Well, then I don't really need to go on. Like, And honestly, it was pretty much the entire game anyways. There's not you much to this that. one. Yeah. No, it sounds like but a perfect game. It is. Um, well, in fact, it's so perfect. So many people have listen, redone it. My show. Uh, I get to decide. Okay. Okay. It's a great fucking game. Okay? Are you watching the video? Do you see this perfect game right now on your screen? I didn't see shit yet. <laughs> okay. chard has got to pull <laughs> it up because because this this okay, is a winner on graphics. Yes. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> what? There we go. What did you send me, bro? It's Dungeons and Dragons, except you don't have enough friends. That's right. (laughs) All right, here we go. Yeah, so this is the original Rogue. This is the one that started it it all. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a roguelike or a roguelite. It's just rogue. Okay. I mean, it's roguish. I mean... Thruggish, ruggish? Like, no music, no sound effects. This game's ahead of its time. Oh, yeah. very much so. Yes. Set the pace. 
incredible just to give graphics. You an idea, uh, the original Superman movie was four years before this. So, and I was two years after. So I feel like I may have judged too quickly. No, no, no. It's, it's in the books. You did the I gavel like... thing. Yeah. Let's move on to next. <laughs> GP's one for wrong. one. Shit. Well, I will say this does do things that are really great, right? Randomized levels is amazing. This originated yes. that really. But also like the idea of light, right? The fog of war. Like you can only see yeah. like as you explore the various rooms. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it looks like trash. It's all text characters. That's all I had for this, right? Well, you don't need the graphics card. That's what's so brilliant about it. Uh, well, how do you, we get around that? You use ampersands and stuff like that. Uh, so you the can nerd backtrack to previous levels. You can collect things, but again, later on, it'll be like, you're kind of hungry. You should try to eat something. Okay, what do I need to do? I have four potions. I don't know what they do yet. Let's mm -hmm. find out. Yeah. yeah. You know, I have I like a wand. That. Will it benefit me, like yeah. if I attack somebody mm -hmm. with it? Or, you know, is it like a haste wand? where it'll make the enemy faster. So there's a discovery element, so it's not so... I know, I feel like you're talking about Harry Potter now. And... Uh, and, and I love Harry a Potter. A lot of wands. And, and you got something to you, say about Sirius Black? You get, you get to fight... Okay. You get to fight I emus. I love, I love it. Yes. yes. They're deadly in this, actually. Gary Oldman, if you're watching, or if you're currently on this podcast, Gary Oldman, I'm a big fan. Please stop having an orgasm so, to Gary Oldman. I appreciate that. So I actually have a little bit of a fun story about how I, I have played this, back in oh it probably was 84 so a few years after it was released but i uh i was tasked by my parents to go do some babysitting for a, a you know a neighbor and uh they offered to pay me which was great but they also said you know once the kids go to bed you can play on our computer we have some games on there and so i ended sure. up like Game. yeah well i i pulled out this disc and it said rogue on it i was like well, this looks interesting and i put it in and i ran the game and and honestly it was addictive it really was that's did you actually, play Tetris on your on their computer that's What's exactly this? how both rogue and i met that's the exact same story oh you I, were i found babysitting? i found her with her name and now it's now i'm addicted <laughs> okay so there was babysitting involved and i'm now uncomfortable <laughs> Doctor. listen don't judge me and my babysitting thing you know you could actually look at this game and you could say hey don't at me bro hashtag <laughs> emu nice. you can't at me he's already added that's brilliant oh yeah Shut it down all no, right I, I like it so long as you have a good enough creative uh mind and you can replace an at symbol with you know your avatar you're fine your and, at avatar and, uh, Yes, and I'm a, just saying like S, it already looks like a snake. It's not a big leap. And B is a B looks like a bat for sure. Forever. I've always um, said this. Yeah. yeah, except the snake was like, the S was actually like Shamu <laughs> and not snake. Shamu Rest snuck peace, up Shamu. behind you. Shamu. 1981 to 1992. Those land whales, you know, that's, that's how they operate. The yeah. land whales. <laughs> land whales? <laughs> Sh Shamu sneaks up in a dungeon. He's a land whale. Well, how else are you going to spin this? Your Canadian whales are bizarre. Well, hey, it's it's not real whales. We duct tape a couple like casts to the bottom. And then meters that's the thing. long. <laughs> okay. For me, game number two, it's a card deck building game based on a popular cinematic universe. No, 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 no. no. By the time no. this no. airs, that's I'll be done with the game. Like no. <laughs> yeah, he will quit by then. Yeah, yeah. This this joke <laughs> won't work anymore. I'll be it'll be, it'll be a good callback. It's good. Yeah, I like it. Has, has anybody beat this game then? Well, who's played it? So, Sinistar, you played it. I played it. I, you guys played it today. Okay. I have, I have only seen. This afternoon. I have only defeated. seen the the direct derivative net hack beaten. I have never seen Rogue itself beaten. Now, yeah, There's this a, game has spawned a number of rewrites and like moria yeah. hack all those kind of things those are all considered better but for what this is and it spawned uh, i guess two different sorts of uh you know genres roguelike and yeah. roguelite i think it earns everybody's respect and uh you know rogues uh words not mine yes so thank you <laughs> there's um a great series on giant bomb where they were playing this game and they were doing runs and the guy was dying Almost every episode. I think it took him 10 episodes to even get close to beating this game. It's a yeah. wildly difficult game. 
and it's an interesting one. I don't know if it's any good anymore, but it's an interesting okay. one. Interesting thing about this, um, there were a couple different colleges. I think it was Carnegie Mellon, and then they did a thing down at the University of Texas in the 80s after this kind of became you know, a big deal where they created a bot uh, that could play the game just to run through it and see mm -hmm. what the stats are. And it, it, I think it was in like the top 15%, if I remember right. For, oh, wow. So, I mean, if you have a bot working on a randomized thing, I think you're, I, I don't know. I just found that interesting that bots go back that far. Speaking of runs. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Kidding. Kidding. I had my it. Pepto today. <laughs> awesome. Well, so that one got a resounding uh, Rogue would play it. Yeah. A resounding Rogue would play well, it. Okay. Are you sticking yeah. with that? You would do it? I, I would do it. Even, I even would after the even even after seeing it, I I still feel like your description of it was fantastic. Now, I really wish that your description fit what the fuck I just saw <laughs> better, because I feel like that would have been cooler instead of just squiggly lines and <laughs> having to use my imagination. But yes, they yes. were at symbols. It's fine. Mm. Don't at me, Rogue. I was promised bats and potions. Okay. <laughs> They're in there. They're kind that's, of. That's they? later. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> well, thank uh, you. Oh, I seem to be stuck again. I think wow. my OBS I is. Say, Sinistar looks inquisitive. <laughs> <laughs> I, I be stuck in a face. That's the face to keep. Contemplative. In inquisitive and whimsical. So smart. Uh, so, yeah, my OBS keeps crashing, which is great. Blink if you're being held against your will. <laughs> Okay, he's fine. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm blinking. I'm blinking like mad. I'm blinking I didn't like see it. Mad. Too late, my friend. Did you guys hear my tummy just now? I did. Yeah. The Marilax is Marilaxing. starting. <laughs> Triple dose. I got to quit with these challenges. Awesome. Okay, well, um, how about we move to Jake for his game? <laughs> okay, sure. Hold on. Okay, and so no am I naming fucking it? Marvel Snap. No, it's not Mar Look, I haven't said Marvel <laughs> Snap at all today. It's a snap free day. I a salt free count day. How many freaking I can count on two hands how many times you've said Marvel fucking snap. Um, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's Marvel Snap Free Day. I, you guys keep bringing it up. Like I swear to God, it's not my game of the year, it's yours. Like I don't know what else to say. All right. Like to, answer, to answer your to answer your question, I think you can say the name. I think the real reason uh, GP didn't say the name for the previous one was because it was the genre namer. Okay. Yeah. All right. So my case, my game is uh, Shovel Knight Dig, which recently came out. So how do I describe Shovel Knight Dig? Well, you're a knight, and your weapon of choice is a shovel. And you enter a dungeon. I know you like dungeons. But it's a vertical like dungeon. dungeon. You're, you're going down a giant hole, a shaft. And as you go down this shaft, like it's holes? basically... I like shafts, but not holes. Well, then it's a deep, deep shaft. So as you go down this shaft, which is randomly generated, it and you're it's basically deep. a dungeon. <laughs> I know we're getting all hot and bothered, GP. Don't me too. Uh, and you make, you're killing various enemies from skeletons to bats to flying little things, and you're basically the goal is to collect treasure. You're collecting gemstones Ooh. as you go to this this thing, yes. and throughout the dungeon, you'll hit points where it forks into two different shafts. Two is always better than one. And each shaft may have different modifiers. One shaft may be um, bombs will drop uh, as you go through the thing. Another shaft may have harder or easier enemies. M one may wait, have wait, wait. shops. Mm -hmm. One shaft is the bomb. Harder. One shaft and is the other bomb. is hard. Yeah. Shut and your mouth. <laughs> and one shaft is hard. And you don't get uh, to the bottom, but you sure fuck up the sides. All right. Nice. This, this, this episode is never going to go on YouTube. It's, we're going to have to put it on Pornhub Direct. <laughs> but Sorry, basically, YouTube. <laughs> You're exploring these shafts, and they're randomly generated, and there's different themes. There's lava caves and gemstone things and dungeons and all kinds of different environments. And at the end of several shafts, as they split apart, you end up with a boss fight. And the bosses are all very interesting and slightly varied. But the goal of this is you are a knight, and your weapon is a shovel, and you're exploring shafts, which are randomly generated, and there's all kinds of enemies. That's that's Shovel Knight Dig, really. Oh, hey. Dig. You're saying Dig. Dig, yes. Not not the other D word, GP. Not the other D word. I find it hilarious that you were talking about the dinosaur thing the other day, right? Mm -hmm. 
I was talking about the blood hugging the not too long ago either. So you and I seem to be on a wavelength, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Ro, you can, either make judgment, you can either make judgment now or you can ask questions and get No, I, I feel, I mean, there was a lot of talk of shafts mm. and, you know, I like dungeons. I'm, I'm not fond of falling in deep, dark crevices. None of that sounds good, but I like treasure. It's Treasure's definitely a, cool. It's not a dark game. It's actually very bright and cartoonish for sure. Shovel Knight has a very How cool cartoony look. Compared to the last dumpster fire we witnessed. Um, Shard's got to show you the video because this Play is actually one of the fire. better looking in the Shovel Knight she series. Has, she has to make her decision. Yes. Sure. True. Okay. Very I, colorful, 16 bit like... style. It's very nice. Like Super Nintendo. Uh, so like okay. I, I feel like yes. I, I'm leaning towards yes. Okay. Okay. It's All right, so it's my final answer until I see this because hey. I feel like I've been lied to. <laughs> we would never Previously. lie on this podcast. <laughs> Just truth bombs. That's all we give here. Ask Chard. He knows I never lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it already. I think Chard's oh. eyes just rolled to the back of his head. I can see my brain from here. Yes. Yes. This is Shovel Knight Day. Yeah. So this is actually based okay. on the platforming series character. Uh, I like the platforming game more, but that's more of a fixed level design, whereas this one is completely randomly generated. So it's definitely a different different take on it. But it's uh, it came out this year and it plays really well. Oh, I like it. No, this I, I made a good choice. OK, this time was 100 percent a good choice. Oh, look at the flying things. Ooh. Yeah, I don't Ooh, think the screws. Any, anybody else played this game or is it just me? Probably just me, huh? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's a good. I one. have not. I have not played this one. This looks cool. I, yeah, I would play it. This is thought. a yeah, definitely a yes now. A hard yes. Hard yes. Excellent. Hard have you guys yes, played the original series like at all? Um, I, no. I have seen it and wanted to play it, but I have not personally done it myself. Got it. We got to do an episode on Several Night then, because this game it's one of my favorite franchises for sure. <clears throat> Does this have a multi, not this one, but does Shovel Knight have a multiplayer? The first game does have co-op. Uh, it's a divorce simulator, Jared. <laughs> if you play it in couch co-op, you'll go nuts. I've tried playing this with my kids and I want to hang myself. <laughs> it's very difficult <laughs> with two players. Because you're so trying dark. to platform. It's a platforming game, right? And you're trying to right. like get through the stages together. It's it's crazy. Nice. Yeah. Okay. What was so that? Have, what was yeah. that one on PlayStation Sack Sackboy or whatever? That was also like a divorce simulator. Was it? I don't think I played that much. <laughs> it it it's right. one of those where like if you end up on what on the wrong side, somebody falls to their death over and over yeah. and over again. Yeah. Exactly that. Those are your gems. Okay. I know. I'm like super excited about gems. Yeah, it's okay. and it's great. So like any roguelike, you collect gems, you get upgrades. The upgrades make runs easier, easier. You get deeper into the shaft, to different environments, yeah. different bosses. It's a really solid game. Hard, but it's a fun game. Shafts. Mm. No, All right. Nobody is complaining about getting deeper into the shafts. Apparently, <laughs> I don't think mm. you understand how shafts work. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is one bad mother. Shut mm. your mouth. Shut your mouth. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. So, two, we have two rogue likes. We haven't pressed B to cancel just yet. Not yet. All right. Well, Char, do you want to go next or do you want me to go next? Instantly, no. <laughs> oh, wait. Did you I You go next, harshly? Sinistar. Did okay. I... <laughs> Instantly, no. We might as well, keep, no we might as well keep, keep the positivity going. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Uh, I feel like I feel like my game. You may already you may already kind of know because it's yeah, it's been it's been sitting on your couch a lot. <laughs> Wait, it's it's a it called that piece of garbage. Wow, yeah, that's that's my pet name, <laughs> and that is my game. I win. I mean, love of my life. That's yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that. No, I love you. So the game I am describing is Vampire Survivors, oh. and. <laughs> this game oh, is wait, good i forgot I was... oh i'm so excited Say more. okay yeah so <laughs> this is what she actually does know so I there is know. there is a there is not so much procedurally generated maps this is uh each there are a series of maps but your entire goal is to level your character over and over and over again 
and get more powerful and hopefully survive wave after wave of uh, evil, vampire-y, werewolf-y, that kind of genre-y creatures. And you really just try to last as long as you can. We play that game a lot. Mm. Well, you have to yeah. take you have to take enhancements to last longer. That's the important thing here. <laughs> Speed runs, right? Speed runs that's the days. that's the level that's the leveling over and over and over again. We haven't gotten to that part of our relationship. <sighs> no. All right. So, do you have questions? Do you have questions? Do you want? No, I think it's just because I'm familiar with this game because mm. he plays it. I don't mm -hmm. like it. I don't like it. There's too much. There's too much going on. There's not enough. Um, I don't like this. The sporadic people like the bad guys coming. I just don't like it. It's not organized. I don't like. I don't like it. Can I? It can makes I make me a, angry? Can I make an additional case? Can I make an additional case for the game? I mean, you can. It but... has. It has the the endorphin generator of your oh, experience. Your experience are little gems that you run around and collect and they make little it's it's like vegas it's like vegas with with like the dilly -ly 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 as you're collecting like it over rope doesn't yeah. like vegas rope okay. doesn't like vegas rope doesn't like vegas, rope doesn't like vegas. Yeah. press b i don't like this one this one literally like looking at it makes me angry like there's just i it's too chaotic i don't see no 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 I, I absolutely not it All is right. kind of chaotic not. But there's only one control. You only move your character. There is no there's no shooting. Like when I got my kids mm -hmm. to play this game, the first question they said is, Well, what's the controls? And I'm just like, just the joystick. Button That's mashing. It. Just use the yeah. no, no, no button mashing. Just use no. just use the joystick. No there's no button. See, there's I don't no I don't I don't like it. <laughs> See, when I when I scooped this up, uh. I was playing this and was like, So how do I do anything? <laughs> and he it was it's obviously the first guy you get is the guy with the whip. Mm -hmm. So it's just all whoosh. <laughs> so you had me at what? And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? This game is stupid. And now, much like probably everybody's first attempt at heroin, saying this was a bad decision, I will mo undoubtedly play this after we're done with the podcast. Like I, you can't I mean, stop now. Yeah this this very much is a first one is free kind of game. Wow. <laughs> I love this game though. It's like what three yeah. bucks? It might have gone up in price to five. I think it's I think it's five. It should Although, be free. It was dirty cheap free. when we scooped when I scooped yeah. it up. It was dirty. I would I would talk about the Steam sale in the past. Yes. That was a great Over, sale. Lots of deals yeah. were had. At yeah. least it two was, weeks ago. Those Black Friday sales wasn't amazing. available. Uh -huh. It's not yeah. available currently at the time. Yeah. No. Yes. The Black Friday sales from two weeks ago <laughs> yes. were exactly. Man. Not this I, two Fridays ago, not like today's current Friday date. I love the future. Yes. Where we okay, so are. yes. So we get a press B to cancel from yes. Rogue on this one. Yep. Okay. Sorry. Not sorry. It's a rough one. Don't worry. I, I like it Sinistar and I'm gonna play yeah. it tonight. It well, is a beloved say, game. To those who are listening count. or watching the episode, if you've not if you're one of the five people on the planet who have not played Vampire Survivors, this is one of the games that will probably be we, on game of the year have, list for people. We have number four and number three <laughs> on the podcast well, right now. <laughs> But I just want to make the case, dozens of unlockable characters, really interesting lore and narrative and the enemy design, like the, biographies The powers and stuff. are amazing. Don't, the weapons yeah, are amazing. Don't, yeah. don't bring up lore when you're shitting on one of the best games coming out here. Look, if you read the, the lore of the lizard people in the dairy factory, they're out to control the means of milk production. It gets deep, Chard. Wow. More than that I fucking tree say, in Elden Ring, okay? I will so, say that Sassy yeah. Witch was a good right. I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> I will have vampire questions when the time comes. They bite you. <laughs> are, are they, okay, do they glitter? Is this like Nosferatu? What There's a lot at? of actual I... different types of vampires, actually. Okay. Some, and multiple some witches. Do glitter. Some yeah. Multiple do witches. Nos, Nosferatu, too. Mm. You... Like one of the witches has a cat as her weapon. And as you upgrade the cats, you get more of them on the screen. And when they collide with each other, they go into a ball like a fight cloud and damage something around them. It's actually really hilarious. So just like real, so, just like real. So yeah. I, yeah, it's very, I mean, it's very real. Yeah, I mean Nosferatu was great, but I prefer the original Nosferatu one. Wow. Yeah, yeah, the sequel, <laughs> Nosferatu Prime. Yes. <laughs> These are the hot singers you can expect at Presby to cancel. 
sorry, YouTube. Live every Friday. <laughs> You're not sorry. I, I also, I want to point something out. I feel kind of silly that uh, the conversations have gone so blue, as I say, in the industry. Uh, kind of, you know, gutter talk. And I don't want anybody to think it's just because we have uh, uh, a female presence today. I would like you guys okay. and gals out there listening to reference any of our other 128 episodes. Uh, we always just make dick and fart jokes. So I, well, I've heard that sex sells. Isn't that how it works? Oh, I'm talking about my, my Miralax stuff. Oh, what? The okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You know the gutter, well, where poop is. Where poop yes. is. <laughs> well, on that, on, on the note of poop. Shit in the gutter? On the note of poop, a uh, chard. Do you want to describe your game? That's the best <laughs> segue you could possibly have, chard. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Have a nice death. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> okay, so my my game is uh, is a little gym called the Binding of Isaac. Mm. So in this game, you play a small naked child who is trapped in a dungeon. We like dungeons. And uh, your weapons... Don't, don't poison the well, sir. Don't worry. The well's far, already far, far poisoned. This is Kepka-level poison. <clears throat> uh, so your weapon of choice are your tears. Mm -hmm. And you are fighting to try to get to your mother to defeat her, who has casted you into this dungeon slash basement because she believes that you are the spawn of Satan. And to power up, you must find power ups within piles of randomly coiled shit around the dungeons. Mm -hmm. uh, you get powers that allow you to shoot blood out of your eyes, um, decapitate things, and or, or all feces all, out of or, your eyes. Yeah. Or yeah, you can also use feces as well as a weapon. Mm -hmm. My dear, how do you rate this game? You forgot what the important oh, fetus is as summons. I have a question. Yeah, okay. Can I ask how old this game is? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um let me Maybe let me pull give up. Me a date. Give me a date. We're waiting on that. Reason. What's the shaft situation in this game? <laughs> there are shafts. There are shafts. Are they deep? That you they are deep shafts. 2011. Long shaft. 2011. Wow. I, I was gonna okay. say about okay. 2010. All right. 2011. Is it a is it a category of say horror? Um, shock maybe horror? gore i yeah. don't like yeah. tongue and cheek it's more shock than, than horror per se oh man I, I i feel like i'm on the fence with this because i feel like it's a therapy session and mommy issues mm. and you're, you're uh, right on the nose i don't know i feel like it could be good and therapeutic for people but you know if you don't have those issues let's uh let's roll the tape yeah i didn't mm. give my determination yet yeah we need to yeah, we don't show that beautiful bean footage yet. I feel like it's it's gonna be a press me to cancel. I feel like it's gonna be a no, and it doesn't have anything to do with you. Not. I just I don't. <laughs> it's not you. I don't like babies. It's not you, I don't it's like me. naked babies. It's, it's like I... pedophilia in the dungeon. I just feel like it's it's gonna be a no. Can I poison the well a little bit and poison say that well. this yes. this might actually be like the highest selling roguelike slash roguelite uh really to date tell her Wouldn't about the blood me. fountains, mm. <laughs> blood I, liked, fountains. <laughs> I did like the bleeding through the eyes part that got mm. me a little bit okay. but or, naked babies or, it just or shitting through the eyes what yeah you can't yeah. shit out of your mouth like turds like full-on turds yeah, or is like it like a really liquid yeah. stream of poop? little Both. little 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 uh little shit balls little nuggies yeah. <laughs> okay um, no, little shit nugs. Babies. Hey, uh, no jump, jump, jump to jump to an hour and twenty eight minutes there, Chard. <laughs> that was oddly specific. Uh -huh. Are there are there little shit nuggets flying? Oh yeah. What are we attacking? Like we're attacking mom? Is that what's happening? Well, you eventually get to mom. So yeah. Okay, but do we ever find out what mom what mom did to desert mom us? Mom has lost her mind now. Yeah, you she's see these little spiders spitting blood. You are. Bleeding from the face and apparently shooting Ooh. balls of poo. Balls of poo. All right. Spinning balls of poo. As you mm -hmm. uh, defend yourself from the blood spitting spiders on the wall there. You love killing spiders. So I, I do. I, I do. There are entrails too. So once you kill something, mm -hmm. they typically mm -hmm. explode into some kind of entraily mess. 
It's an intrail heavy portfolio. Uh, you got these guys cut in half with their spinal cords walking around, leaving oh, piles good. of blood on the ground. So that's pretty cool. I want right, to say so this is one of the most verdict? fun games oh. I've played, roguelike wise, except the, the graphic style puts me off and I can't get into it. Like the gameplay yeah. is great, but the graphic style is disgusting. And oh, I, Jesus. I don't play is that, that mom? Reason. That's mom. Yeah. Mom looks like yeah. a bitch. Mom is a bitch. She is a bitch. That's yeah. Why you, that's why you go after no. mom. Well, I mean, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a no for me. Okay, press no B to cancel. Yeah. Press yeah. B to press cancel. B to can press B That's B a hard gonna, sale. On so. Sorry, what are we like fifty percent right now? We are fifty <laughs> percent like, wrong. Listen, <laughs> well, I, I mean, will murder you in front of people. <laughs> Go sleep. Go sleep. Well, that's been a great episode, folks. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Looks like we have our replacement host, too. <laughs> I'm your replacement. It's, it's mine interesting. Now. <laughs> yeah, it's rare where, where you get entertainment and a, a live confession. So that's awesome. Right. <laughs> you guys aren't airing this, are you? No. You can blink if you're like, being held against no. your, your, your will. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I said blink once, not 12 times. All I can <laughs> assume is you're okay. Wow. Someone's over exaggerating a little bit. <laughs> I didn't I didn't blink once. I didn't blink once. I, I really didn't. There are okay. four lights. There are four lights. Uh awesome. Well, we do actually have a second set to run Ooh. through if you if you're if you're if you're interested in more Let's do this. maybe half. Because <laughs> I don't know GP and R I have. One. have we only have two left. We only have really, two so. more. <laughs> All right. That's the kind of expectation of research that you can expect here in Presby to cancel. We got 50% more content. Well, <laughs> me and Sinistar are overachievers, apparently. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, always. I can get a third one in there. I'm fine with that. That's, That's what, what she, she said. said. <laughs> Love you. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're the same person. Uh, okay. Well, totally not yeah. married. <laughs> what? My wife went, is off uh, well, off camera giving a couple of thumbs up here. She's really having a good time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your hologram too. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I will go with my next one. So my next one is called Undermine. You are a uh, well. The whole premise is is that a mine uh, has started shaking, mm. and a uh, wizard or alchemist or something has has decreed that. Basically, a whole bunch of mining peons are going to go investigate and try to figure out what the shaking is about. And uh, you you basically dive into a mine. Now you okay. um, you collect power ups as we've as we've kind of pointed out happens in a lot of these games. You okay. find gold all over the place, and every time you like find gold, gold mm, yeah, like a dragon. And every uh, fair fair. Every time you find gold, though, there are little dudes that try to steal it before you can pick it up. And one of my favorite things ever is you can whack them and they make yes. this little, they make this little no sound as they fly Immediately, off. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. You don't have to say anything else <laughs> that this game sounds amazing. I have to see it. Okay. And I want to hear it with the, the no, <laughs> it has to happen. This sounds like I the best one. I don't know how far the no is. <laughs> let me, uh, let me find a little. in here? Gimli so, is not in this game, I don't believe. That's disappointing. Let's see here. I'm yeah, let me know the timestamp. I want to pull this up. Because I haven't played this uh, one. No. So, YouTube's being a little slow for me. Hold on. Let's see. And I see their shafts in this mine, so that's already there, got there to be a plus. There are, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Is that a bat? Uh, the yes, there are that? bats. There are bugs. There are. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. I'm trying to find a little gold spot so that you can you can see the little dude fly off. Come on. So while Sinistar's looking it up, has anybody else played this or just Sinistar? I know. I know. I've, not, I I've only watched people play this. Was, this looks what was great. this one? Mario Golf. <laughs> yes, Mario Golf. Yes. Yeah. Notable roguelike Mario Golf. Yeah. Yeah. Notable, notable, popular roguelike huh. Mario Golf. Well, okay, while we're waiting, I'll just throw this in there real quick. Um, when we pitched the idea to Rogue, she had said, "Not only am I open to 
judging games. I will judge anything. And Absolutely. so I knew I had to have something else prepared. So while yes. we're waiting, uh, if I can get your opinion, is this look coming back into style or <laughs> probably not? I mean, it, if you, it, it is, if you never want to have sex ever again in your entire life, I would not, okay. I'd not put that out. Okay. Well, he, he is married. Uh, so if, if you're, you're uh, listening to this, it doesn't on the even podcast, matter if he's married. He's probably like, please don't ever. She's probably real disappointed in you right now. Okay. Here's where I become impressive. At the time that picture was taken, was not married. So somebody married me <laughs> after that picture was but taken. Did she see that photo? Like, not important. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this would have gone a different direction. That that was my you know. come on Eileen. Uh, Dexy's Midnight <laughs> Runners. Not come on Eileen. Hey. That was. Come on, yeah, she did not. Eileen did not. But yeah, not Eileen. I'm sorry. Hey, Eileen hey, is bet, Eileen is not accepting you sh- that. You showed, Come on, her the, you showed her the uh, the overalls without the shirt picture, though, right? That's the one you went with. Oh, the the uh, what what? You the were calendar? wearing the overalls without the shirt. That's yes. how you got. That's how a bit like kind of got lured into this. Is she okay? The musky she... trap that you laid. <laughs> okay, so is she I, all right. I, Yes, and to show you how good of a sport she is in her wedding vows, she did yeah. use the word pity no less than four times. <laughs> <laughs> but is she okay now? Does she like? Does she need some 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 mental support at all for this? Yes. Having to witness this again, Sweetie. is she okay? You okay? I, I'm you need worried some for food, her. Some water, new wood chips. No, she's fine. Okay. Okay. Wood chips. <laughs> Get her all right, Sada. all right, all right. Timestamp of seven oh four. Seven oh. Oh, that reminds me. Let me. <laughs> While we're doing this, I gotta go replace Sada. I really want to hear the no, no. Like well, I'm I don't super know. excited. I don't know if. It, let's see. Hang on. We'll have to do it like. Oh yeah. So that one, when I whack it, when I whack it, it goes oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's what I happens when that. I whack it. We're getting the so, entire season sorry, worth Sinistress. of clips. Sorry. <laughs> so. Those little that's guys, they're, they're both super annoying because every time you get gold, they come out and you Sinistress. have to in there again because i can hear you screaming no look look i can't i can't make it if i don't go oh i told you if you touch it more than once you play with it well yeah you said that damn wow all right so we have a we have a very positive yes on undermine Yes, Fantastic. I like that. That's a good All one. Right. All right. I have Unamas hmm. left for you. I don't know. I, I want more photos. You'll get more photos <laughs> later. Don't you I'm worry on about it. I'm on it. Hang on. I will find. It's I will find. My life. I hate it. I here. will find Sinistar with a mullet. How about that? Oh, mullet star. Uh huh. Docking. Docking star. Okay. star. Okay. Look, give all this content Slot, away for you guys. Follow up, follow up picture. Slaughter star. Is is this look coming back? Oh, where are we at? Right I there? can't see. There it is. Oh, there the is. goatee. Oh yeah. Are you? Yeah. Oh my God! What's the wallflower? The oh, Jacob Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's. Oh, yeah. I was filming a um a content video <clears throat> where I was doing an episode of Cribs. Backstory on that one. Okay. How about this? There you go. <laughs> Patrick Swayze. That's perfect. That's right. You, yeah. For that's real. Very Swayze. Yeah. That's great. That's uh, that is a rogue. Minutes. Yes. That's wow. That's Chip and Dale's style. Right there. I know. <laughs> no. For real. No. Oh, I'm, I meant to mute that. I'm so sorry. Would you? Okay. Be <laughs> send that to my wife, please. Yeah. I'm a star. <laughs> Damn it. I already have. <laughs> wow. That's a. <laughs> She deleted the last one. That's why she's asking. Me, you know? That's right. Oh, I'm going to get right. a little like on that my one. Lord. They, they <laughs> press B to cancel. All right. All right. Our last game and then more games to follow. I'm sure post this. 
my next game is a new gym that's actually still uh, still being worked on called Have a Nice Death. Within this, you are a businessman that has fortified the taking of souls from people so much that you've created an empire to do this. In doing so, by creating this empire, you have become, uh, what would we say, lackluster, a little, uh, little lazy, as it were, as you continuously stamp forums and not uh, collect the souls. You've sent out your peasants to go and collect the souls. In doing so, your employees have become rampant Fuck the employees. and kind of <laughs> assholey. <laughs> And don't believe that you are much the death that you once were. So, your job Sin eater. is to go out and prove them all wrong. Oh, yes. What do you think? Yes. Yes? Yes. That's a yes. Did you eat their, 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 is it like Sin Eater? Is it like the order? Like, is Heath Ledger going to be like, and no, suck out your soul? Not, there's not, but there's a lot of stabbing. Well, there's, I like that. That's yeah. good. I know you like stabbing. That's Trust me, I know all stabbing. Good. All right, so we have a resounding yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. I don't see Heath Ledger being cast in the movie adaptation of this game. <laughs> uh, have you seen the the order with Heath Ledger though? I, I, mean, I haven't, is... but for the fact oh, that he's oh dead, my God, no, is it? Okay. watch it immediately. But this character is too cute to be Heath Ledger, is what I'm getting at. I keep There's... thinking Heath Ledger is the Joker <gasps> and how he's so ghastly. I, love I don't him. see that here. This is have a nice death. It oh my God, is that a pumpkin? It is a little pumpkin. <laughs> Favorite. So you uh you get angry, right? Oh, I'm always angry. You are always angry. And this is the actual gameplay. Oh my god, I want it. Well, I own it. So uh, <laughs> I own it now. <laughs> I think so you play on the Steam deck. You collect you collect souls <gasps> to power yourself up to get uh more weapons. I do that for a living. You do do that for a living. <laughs> And uh, you are beating up your employees that have. <laughs> I do that too. I do not believe that you are uh, worth your salt. You Bastards. go to different levels and different locations that allow you to pick up different power ups, different uh, abilities, different things along those lines. Um, but the entire time, it's got a <gasps> banger soundtrack. The music in this is spectacular. Oh my God. Um, and you get to be death with your little book that follows around with you casting magic spells what? and beating the hell out of people. Yep. <gasps> This is Have a Nice Death. Still in early access, might, might I add. Have they updated this since you played it, Chard? Like, I am not to it? certain, but I I have not had a chance to update or check. But okay. even in its current state, very playable, very fun to watch. It's, yeah. it's The graphics are spectacular. It's super. That was one of the first things that lured me into it to begin with. Ooh. Um, and I really, uh, I really enjoy the, the gameplay on it. Now, again, it is a, it's a roguelike. It's very die and start over and have to do it all over again kind of style but it is uh randomized so not each level is the same like the start out level looks a little bit different the layout is a little bit different um the bosses are all pretty much the same as you approach like certain areas like there's two or three mini bosses before you get to the the last boss of each level uh but they are also randomized and you can choose to avoid them if you know where to go so you can okay. they'll they'll pop up and you could say you know what I don't want to go to that level and you can go somewhere else and continue on. Um, so there is still a lot of option within the game. Yeah, I remember seeing but, you play a little bit of this on stream, and this is one of the games I I really want to play it, but I want to wait till it's released because I made that mistake with Dead Cells. I love Dead Cells mm -hmm. as a roguelike, but I played it in early access, and I felt when it came to full timely released, I never went back to it like I should have because I love that game too. But this this looks great, but I'll wait till it's done. Yeah. I think. Cool. Still play it? Love it. Love it. I think this is fantastic. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and end that on a positive note. Good. <laughs> We're all about the positivity here at Press B to Cancel. That's what we do. Press B to positive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and each character that you talk to is somebody who has died of some kind of death, some kind of goofy death. <laughs> so there's always like skeleton hands sticking out of the ground or the guy that you buy stuff from the, in the shop like killed himself in the shop. So, so part of him is hanging out of the side. It's all very cartoonish, uh, but still very dark and gloomy, but upbeat and positive, just like press B to cancel. 
yeah dark and gloomy upbeat and positive in the same in the same place it's uh, it no contradictions no contradictions here so there you go so we have 75 percent wood play hey okay. yeah and uh sinistar with a mullet that was a winner for sure and yeah. gp on cribs yeah if uh no if downside if you're listening if you're listening to this on uh, on audio and you want to see these things youtube.com slash slash at press b to cancel this guy yeah. see those amazing photos <clears throat> hey don't at me and for the ones we Unless... couldn't show patreon <laughs> <laughs> we have to make that again we keep pitching it we don't have one currently <laughs> we're sending people to patreon to search nothing all that great Excellent. content they could have. P press B to be present. Yeah. Well, I loved well, uh, I loved judging all of this stuff. I I will absolutely do it again in the future. Anything, Excellent. not just games. Excellent. Life choices. <laughs> more pictures. Whenever you need a helping hand, some advice. I'm here for you. It's less helping, more judgy. It's literally like this. Yeah. This is what it Please is. Please tell me your problems so I can totally judge you. All right, all right, yeah. but in the best way possible. I believe it. <laughs> You'd be a fool. You, you, sir, are a fool. I, genius at dumb. Genius at dumb. <laughs> yeah, Beautiful. awesome. Well, Rogue, this has been fantastic. We have loved having you here. We've loved describing these to you and getting your take on it. <clears throat> and uh, uh, we're we're glad you had a great time. Yeah, so. absolutely. Awesome. Definitely. Well, anybody else have anything to say before we button this up? I had a blast. I'm so happy can, we did this. Is there any place they can find you, sweetheart? Since you're you're yes. kind of on the social media scale. On the social medias, mm -hmm. uh, really, Instagram. Rogue Winter is eighteen. Don't be a fucking creeper. I'll block you. <laughs> Don't be a fucking creeper. We'll all block you. Shit. Yeah, we will all block yeah. you. Yeah, we will all block you. I'm the yeah. only creep allowed. Cock block you. Hey, uh, we're past two minutes that's uh, safe now yeah. yeah i can say whatever i want you better be i made it Excellent. you made it you survived well <laughs> let's uh let's see jake where can people find you these days uh well because this is being aired uh i don't know a couple weeks today, from now today today, today. today. It's you're right today. right this is live totally this live. is live this is totally live. live so i i twitter's twitter's dead oh so sad twitter died oh that sucks <laughs> I hope that's You're correct. Really embarrassed when Twitter is actually still. <laughs> you got it's okay because you can find me at Sick Jake at Mass Two. That's right, I'm a Mastodon with all the cool, the cool nerdy kids from Infosec over a Mastodon. Check me out there, or you can check me out on TikTok where I post more than I stream at this point over on Twitch. S I C J A K E. But awesome. he is going to be making his triumphant return to Twitch here soon. Yes, I've been told. Yes. I put too much effort me. into this camera setup to not use it. <laughs> excellent gp where can people find you these days well i've been in the uh photo studio a lot as you all uh mm. learned from from today uh no mostly just here and uh i'm trying to come up with more content for press b whether it's uh videos about shooting a cribs episode or things like that so <laughs> just keep checking into press b and as it happens i'll i'll update everybody Sounds great. And Chard Monk, where can people find you? In uh, hell. In, in <laughs> hell? Oh, sorry. Where can they find me, sweetheart? In hell, 100%. <laughs> wow. Or Twitch. Same thing. But if you go to no. Twitch, you can find me www.twitch.tv forward slash Chard Monk. Uh, in the uh, still very much alive Twitter as of two weeks from the day that this was done live. <laughs> And uh, other social media <laughs> aspects as well as TikTok and other places. Uh, but you can also see me hanging out with this beautiful woman. 99% uh, nice. of the time, I'm not doing anything else. Excellent. That other 1%, and, I'm usually sleeping. Fair, fair. Uh, and I am Sinistar. Uh, I'm really kind of on a semi-permanent hiatus from Twitch, but you can find me here. I'm on Twitter a lot. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe. Please hit that bell. Do what all those things. Go to pressbeatacancel.com where you can find our links. We have a Discord. We love to chat.
Yes. Yeah. Truth. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Do you have anything you want to say before we go, sweetheart? You guys are wonderful. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you. And as always, I'm here to do this whenever we need to. I have fun. So, you know, right. anytime you Excellent. need anything. Excellent. <laughs> 30 meter deep shafts. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>